Hello everyone, this is the V-Man and welcome! In this week we have very interesting combinations in all daily races, so I decided to give it a go in every daily race and to of course record it and to show it to you. So as we're listening a song to get us hyped up, we are about to start the first race on daily race A, which we are doing in Mitsubishi GTO on Willow Springs. Very good uh, track, interesting and very good for sightseeing. So I practiced an uh, hour and a half and my lap time was decent, so this is the first race and I will start second here. This is N300 car on sport hard tires, we all know that by now grip is not that high, so when uh, weight shifts from, from one side to the other, I said this numerous times, car tends to slide, so we need to be very careful and very, very smooth on brakes and on steering wheel. Immediately I was under attack by a Russian guy behind me, but I had a better run through this corner and I was uh, coming close to the Swiss guy in front of me looking for uh, my opportunity. Waiting for his mistake maybe, something like that. So uh, as I said we need to be very smooth, uh, weight shifts from one side to the other, car is uh, sliding and uh, of course we need to be very smooth on brakes also and going into the corner and out of the corner. So this is the first lap of the first race, I am second here, I am still very close to the Swiss guy. Still I need to check out my rearview mirror from time to time because the Russian guy is very close. I am using a slipstream now, coming into the second lap, I am faster here on the brakes, but he managed to brake a bit late, little contact here, but everything ended well, the Russian is now coming close, going into the corner, long corner onto the right, second lap, Swiss guy is still flashing, I don't know why, but okay, it's uh, his thing. On the brakes here, I think I went a little bit wide, yes, and uh, Russian is right on me. Everything went well, so uh, I uh, managed to come early home yesterday from my work and immediately I sat down to practice uh, Willow Springs and somehow I'm always good in these daily races A and on the N300 cars or N200 cars and I'm able to set a lap time which is somewhere around 0 0.6, 0 0.7 seconds slower from a fastest lap time at the moment. But when I'm using other cars like uh, Group D or Group 4 cars that uh, gap or time loss is always around uh, 0 0.9, 0 0.8 or 1 second so I cannot do it any faster. But I am somehow faster in this uh, lower ranked car N200 or N300. So third lap started, three of us are separated from the group. Now we are chasing each other, waiting for a mistake, but we are all good for now. Our pace is very good. As you can see, all three of us are almost in identical distance from the beginning of the race. And Swiss guy went wide here, so I'm closing down the gap once again into the next corner. I went deep here, but I bumped him. As I said, I need to be very careful with the steering wheel, so I cannot do any sudden moves. I will disturb the balance of the car. And here I had a better exit. So I'm right on his bumper. Now I must move on the right side, so now I'm not using a slipstream at this moment, but I am back again behind him. Now very tricky corner into the right. You can easily misjudge where to start to break and to go off the track and after that there is no return. 
end of third lap going into the fourth and the final lap of this first race on Willow Springs. So I started second, I'm still second chasing a Swiss guy in front of me and things settled down a bit. A few corners later, once again he's going wide into this corner. Once again I'm coming close, is this my chance on the inside? But no, he closed the door. He is still in front of me, Russian guy is still behind me but somehow I think that I had a little bit better pace than a Swiss guy but I wasn't able to capitalize that pace and to overtake his position so I'm second and going over the finish line I ended this race on a second position so it's a decent result I think I was third as uh, you can see Lobby puts me to the third place so points are going up. Second race I started again second and again Swiss guy is in front of me. It seems that I had a bit better start here into the first corner. Can I maybe overtake Swiss guy? We will see. So following him behind me is again a Russian guy and going into the next corner onto the brakes. I misjudged braking point, bumped into Swiss guy a bit and look at the Russian guy, he just went through, he was like oh, bitch, get out the way. aggressive move. He was all over the place, over the sand, into the Swiss guy, he pushed him off the track, I misjudged here once again braking spot and Swiss guy pushed me. I went off the track, I mean total chaos, look at this. Guys are going off the track, almost flying off the track. So very dirty start. I can consider myself lucky. You saw what happened. So first lap is about to finish, going into the long corner, into the right. On the start finish straight, I'm immediately on a Spanish bumper. Onto the right, we are side by side now. Do I have speed to overtake him going into the next corner? I'm on the outside. No, I was squeezing him, but he was pretty clean. Kudos to him, very nice driving. So I must defend now. He has a different line, he has inner line, but I have enough speed to keep him behind me. Next corner is corner onto the left full break just for the moment and then trail break into the corner downshift into the second to stabilize stabilize the car Swiss guy and the Russian guy are battling they are very close now I am chasing them and things settle down a bit here I was uh, increasing my uh, advantage from a Spanish guy and I was uh, almost second behind Swiss guy at the end of the second lap, into the corner, onto the right, I think that Swiss guy just bumped the Russian guy a bit, a bit and uh, pushed him off the track. I think he did that on purpose, and I'm saying that because of the situation that uh, Swiss guy and myself are going to be in just a couple of corners. So third lap into the first corner, I am on a first position. Can you believe it? From that chaos in the first lap. I dropped to fourth and now I'm on a first position. Third lap, Swiss guy is following me, he's flashing all the time, still, even in the first race and now in second. Into the next corner, I'm driving a bit defensively, just in case, he's right behind me and here I'm defending all the time, I'm going re really narrow and look at him. He just went on the inside and I lost my nerve. I went straight into him. I know that's my mistake, so kids, don't make any decisions when you're angry. angry. Look uh, what happened to me. So I'm off the track, barely managed to get back and I'm back on my fourth position and here, as I said, I cannot do any sudden moves with the steering wheel. Spanish guy bumped into me that wasn't on purpose, so I'm sorry for that. 
and he just pushed me, gave me speed, so thanks for that and sorry for that sloppy driving. Third lap is about to end, going into the fourth and the final lap, we are now going over the start, finish straight, Spanish guy had a bad exit, this is the end of the race, I uh, ended this race on a fourth position. Chaos, you saw it already in the first lap, but I managed to finish on the fourth position, same position that Lobby puts me in, so still I'm not losing my points, I'm gaining some, so good thing. And because the Swiss guy lost his sportsmanship rating in the last race, because he pushed the Russian guy off the track and he pushed me off the track at some moment, now the game is giving you a SR down and not much of penalties. It just uh, punishes you with uh, SR down and then you need to drive in uh, lower lobbies for four or five races to recover your SR. So I'm, I started first here, hoping for a victory. Behind me is the British guy. Now I can focus on my pace. There is nobody in front of me. There is no dirty air, only me and my diving skill. So I'm hoping to finish this race on a first position. First half of a first lap, so everything went well so far. British guy is not that close, as you can see Lobby puts me to the fourth place, so if I finish on a first position that would be some good points, I would receive some good points out of this race. Long straight before corner into the right. On the brakes, I'm almost one second in front of the British guy, so, so far so good, everything is going well for me. Going uh, into the third lap, again, on a long straight, I had a bad exit here, British guy is now in my slipstream, very close. Look how close he is. He is all I see in my rear view mirror, so... Tricky corner onto the right, last corner of a third lap, trying to go clean through it without mistakes. I did it well, but he's still on me, he's still using my slipstream. I'm swerving here, using that well-known swerving maneuver. On the brakes, into the corner, he is close, but not close enough, just as I was in a first race behind a Swiss guy, but still I am under the pressure, I need to be careful, not to make any mistake. Very close racing, look how close he, he is right now, on the brakes I was going full on defensively. I'm not going to let him pass me just like a Swiss guy did. I was narrow all the time, almost on the dirt and this is the moment when I was able to build a small gap and that was enough for me to end this race with a victory. So you saw three races, daily race say very interesting on Willow Springs with N300 cars in Mitsubishi GTO. So uh, I will try to finally make three videos in this week. First video is this one with Daily Race A. Next one I will try to do it in Daily Race B and of course next one in Daily Race C. So if you like this video, click the like button. If you would like to watch or to listen some more, do subscribe, turn your notifications on. I will try to upload three videos per week, that's the plan at least. You can check out my Facebook page, the link is in the description. So thanks for watching, see you next time, the V-Man is out.